Welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com. New Windows 10 build to look at. This is 17713 for Windows Insiders on the fast ring. A few changes to this build. The first one is there is a reset of the skip ahead option. So if you go into the Windows Insider settings here, you'll see there's no skip ahead option anymore. They've took that out. Um, and they said that they are going to reset that completely so they'll open it up again at some point in the future but currently there is no skip ahead so all builds are from redstone 4 uh, sorry redstone 5 and uh, yeah they've got fast slow or at least preview okay so the changes to this build there's a few changes to microsoft edge some pdf improvements some notepad improvements and a couple of other things so here i'm going to show you the first one on websites you've now got autoplay settings so for this site, uh, the digitallifestyle.com, I can allow uh, the autoplay uh, settings or I can clear that permission. So that's a, a per site setting. So that's a good idea. I think that's uh, a nice way of controlling that. Another change here is in reading mode. You can get word definitions that pop up like that. There we go. Um, when you're in reading mode, and if you're in PDF mode, then you've got this new uh, toolbar, the new the new look toolbar, which has got the text uh, icons on there. Um, you can now pin this as well, so I can pin that so that the PDF toolbar is always available. So a couple of changes in Notepad: it supports wrap around for texting, uh, for find and replace. It supports text zooming, which you can do through. Um, Control plus, there we go, we can zoom text in, something you you couldn't do before. There's some other changes, like uh, they've improved the performance when opening large files in Notepad. Uh, control backspace now works. Um, line numbers are, are working, uh, which I think is a good idea. Another thing I can... I can uh, Another change is your know, desktop now supports biometrics. I can't show you this because not been set up, but you can um, remote desktop onto Azure Directory or uh, Azure Active Directory and use Windows Hello for Business to sign in. So uh, you can use your, your Windows Hello. This also supports Windows 10 now supports web signing as well to Windows 10 in general. Um, again, I can't show you that because it messes up the recording software where I'm doing that. And also, if you're sharing this PC as well, then um, faster signing on shared PC. So if you're switching between users, there's also fast signing as well. If you're using a pen, the text entry panel, or the touch, the, the pen entry panel is now the default experience when you go into a text box. They fixed issues with some more issues with narrator. They fixed some issues with uh, settings. They fixed you know, power config battery ports in certain languages. They filled some. They fix some app update issues. Uh, there's quite a lot of sort of minor fixes with this, some PDF issues as well. So have a look on the digitallifestyle.com for, for details. There are some known issues. Uh, currently there's a known issue with the Windows recovery environment um, when you're doing recovery reset options. Um, so I don't think recovery is gonna work with this build, so be careful with that. There's still some issues with dark um, themes. Actually, this video is recording dark theme as well. I know some people ask me why I'm not using it, so there we go. I am using it. I do. I do like the dark theme actually, especially in in settings. I think it looks rather elegant. And um, there's some color issues um, and some delivery optimization setting issues. But those are the main changes with this build. Getting to the end of the development process. You know, this is just a couple of build numbers up from the previous one. I think. Uh, Another bug bash at the end of um, uh, August or end of July, beginning of August, and then we're uh, on to the final straight with this Redstone 5 build. So thanks for watching this video. More on the digitallifestyle.com at ISDixon on Twitter on the our YouTube channel.